Welcome back, Fragrance Family. It's your friendly neighborhood humble collector. <laughs> and today I got, I was able to get a, I was able to get a little sample from Lucky Scent. Okay, because, you know, uh, I, I want to, you know, uh, I mean, I'm going to start like, experimenting with the finer side of fragrances, you know, uh, one little sample at a time. <laughs> one teeny little, <laughs> one teeny little sample at a time, man. <laughs> so, last week I'm on, uh, you know, I'm watching uh, Coach Rob 619's live stream, you know, and I ask him a question, you know, it's, uh, he does a live stream every week and you get to ask questions and stuff like that and, you know, it, it's really cool because we get to talk fragrances and sometimes we talk, you know, sports and stuff like that, you know, but it's just a cool little thing for, you know, the, fra the fragrance community to do, man, you know, it's a way to keep in contact with everybody from around, not even around the United States, but sometimes around the world as well, man, you know. And so, uh, I asked, I asked Coach Rob what, uh, what, like, in his opinion, what the best Tom Ford scent that he had ever tried. And he, uh, suggested Tobacco Vanille. And, I mean, I real, now I realize why he has so many dis uh, subscribers and why he's like on another level as mine, as me, you know. But, you know, I'm getting there, you know. Uh, each video, I, I, I learn within, within each and every video and as subscribers come and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. So I went to Lucky Scent and I got this little, uh, this little, this little sample, okay? It, I got it on Friday, and I swear, this is, mm, I can still, there's still hints, there's still hints of it, man. This is, this is a beautiful fragrance, man. Words do not describe what, how beautiful this fragrance is, you know? I can so see like uh, the the main actors in Hollywood, like on Oscar night or on like you know dirt like on the Emmys, you know that this is a this is definitely what I like to call a red carpet frag, you know, a red carpet fragrance, you know. Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini was released in 2007. It's a sweet. Tobacco, vanilla, warm, spicy, fruity fragrance. Top notes include tobacco leaf and spicy notes. Mid notes include tonka bean, that tonka bean, <laughs> tobacco blossom, and vanilla. And bottom notes include dried fruit, woody notes, and that's it. <laughs> okay, so. I got a little sample of this, okay, and I wore it to work, okay, I wore it to, like, uh, to the department store that I work at, you know, because I work there, I work at a, I work at a hospital during the week, and then I, I work at a department store, uh, on the weekends, simply because the two-job hustle is what it takes, you know, it's what it takes, <laughs> um, so I wear this to work and okay if you decide to get a bottle of this this is definitely not a work fragrance it simply gets wasted okay the that's wasting juice if you wear this to work okay because this is, you know, an elegant fragrance that should be worn on the right occasion, you know, with your lady or at a formal party when you're suited up in a 
full tuxedo, weddings. Uh, I'm not gonna touch funerals because that's that's just something I don't. I, never mind. Uh, but weddings and special birthdays and stuff like that, uh, retirement parties. Yeah, this is a beautiful tobacco, sweet vanilla fragrance, man. That tobacco and that vanilla really make this thing shine, man. Okay. Uh, I got I got about an hour and a half of projection on this, and then um, about seven to nine hours of mm, of full length progression, man. Heck yeah! Uh, I hated I hated wasting this juice. You know I'm gonna have to get a bigger bottle. Unfortunately, the uh, unfortunately the uh, the smallest bottle that Lucky Scent has is 225 a bottle for the smallest one. Uh, I think the next one is like 305 or 335, and then the the, the biggest bottle they have is like 695. No, 595. I'm sorry, 595. Uh, yeah, so I don't see myself like, you know, really, really buying this anytime soon. Uh, saving up for it, saving up for it definitely. Maybe for my birthday next year, but uh, by by my by the time my birthday comes next year, maybe hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I, if 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 I would have to say, I would rate this like four point five. Yes, uh, four point five because it's got it's got the projection of it. It's got the longevity to it. Okay, but the price, the price is like ridiculous, man. Okay. Uh. This, right off the bat, it, I would say that this is the big brother of two other fragrances, you know, that come to mind, you know, CK Shock and Burberry London. Now, I'm not saying that this, that there are alternatives to this, okay, because nothing can be the alternative for this one. I mean, this, this one kind of just speaks for itself. I liked it so much, you know? But if you kind of want something on the path of this one right here, you know, something on the cheap side to experience this. If you don't have, the, if you don't have a way to experience this Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, uh, I would suggest trying CK Shock and uh, Burberry London, because those are kind of on the path of this one right here. Really great fragrance, guys. Really great fragrance. Uh, I have decided that I'm saving up for a for the smallest bottle that they have. It'll probably take me the whole year to do that, but you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, that's my take on uh, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini. Definitely a must. At least a must try out, you know. Uh, get yourself a little sample of this one, you know. And uh, yeah, this is probably the best that I've tried. Uh, definitely uh, had more projection and more longevity of anything that I've tried from the house so far. Okay, I've only... I've only tested three uh, fragrances from this house, so, you know, give me time, you know. <laughs> give me time, okay? <laughs> okay, so this is my take on Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini. I am the humble collector. You guys are my humble crowd. That's the truth, and I'm sticking to it.